Okay. Any questions on nothing really new on landfill operations post closure? Uh, that completes 115. <coughs> Where is the monitoring? Ask a question. Oops, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Thank you. Um, the uh, monitoring and the inspections. That was actually a. It was, uh, looks like it was. Um, that that was uh, when we were pressed in August to put together our estimate. Mm -hmm. um, I went to the next lowest bidder that we had uh, from the previous contract. Uh, that's what we submitted the 15. Uh, we actually put the work out to bid and got someone to do the assessment for 7,300 and permit renewal for 1,000. So that's why we we requested through the Board of Selectmen okay, so to amend great. the item to 8,300. Okay. Excellent thank question, Sandra. Thank you. Well, thank you. I'm glad that you approved. That's exactly what I was going to ask. Page 117. This is for the initially for the uh, solid waste tipping fees and the waste hauling, uh, and then the transfer station operations. I have a question on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Joe. Well, you look uh, on the uh, part time wages, mm -hmm. you requested 17.8, and the Board of Selectmen got 32.8. What's why? The selectmen made a decision. Um, what we've been doing historically um, is um, the weekend coverage, offering weekend coverage at the transfer station to our union employees. Mm -hmm. um, selectmen have decided to replace those with part time, at least one part time employee. So they readjusted it. So if you look under OT wages, mm -hmm. that was actually increased. Correct. Um, actually, no, decreased. sorry, uh, decreased. Right, so from mine right. and the um, part-time wages was increased. Okay, so you just moved, okay. Yeah. Okay. So in other words, you, you've you hired part-time people, so you don't have to pay your full-time people overtime. It hasn't actually happened yet. We're in the process of hiring one person. We'll still have the transfer station weekend operations takes four people. Uh, two positions will be covered by part-time people and two by uh, present employees, full-time employees making overtime. That does again pro trouble with any kind of union agreement? Yeah, that's what I'm CBAs. thinking. CBAs? Yeah. Um, yeah, probably. Wouldn't it be easier if you just, <coughs> <coughs> if the goal is to save some money here, wouldn't it be easier to maybe close? Close the transfer station on Sunday, mm -hmm. and just have. That was a big uh, hiccup a few years ago. Yeah. Um, Buckle up. That's a that's a policy decision <coughs> that is beyond me. I mean, do other towns have their transfer station? Does like Exeter is? Are no. they opened on Sunday? No, they're closed. Mm -hmm. Well, all other towns are open on Sunday. Like who? Um, Hampstead, Plasto, um, Newfields, Newfields. I mean, it just, um, it just seems to me it's a slap in the face to your full-time employees to hire, now hire a part-time employee just to save a few dollars. I mean, it's ridiculous. Well, the part-time employees are still in the union, aren't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, that's kind of a question right now. I don't know. Okay. That's right. It's my question. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but, but we're dealing with that question ourselves. Okay. Do the contract will prevail regardless, and... My guess is that you've decreased the money overall. Um, the money will stay there and it'll have to be moved around as the contract dictates. So to leave it here, we do no harm other than to get more hours out of the, the work or more hours generated into the work at regular time. If that cannot be done, it cannot be done. Has a part-time employee been hired? No. No. Okay. okay. Waiting for drug tester. Waiting for what? A drug test. Oh, the drug test. Oh, okay. the transfer station gets revenue. People, some, you know, contractors pay to come in and dump. So. Still still do they come in, come in on a Sunday? Contractors come in on a Sunday? I would think so. To a certain extent, less than... Uh, uh, I, I never room. put trash out and I uh, always go to your fine facility. Mm. Uh, and uh, it's very busy. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very busy on Sunday. Yeah. Very busy yeah. on weekends. Shame on <coughs> Sunday. How much does this particular raise the fees? Uh, maybe you should raise the fees. <laughs> we just looked at that. We raised the fees. We raised a number of the fees. I don't have those numbers right in front of me right now. This particular maneuver by the selectmen right. is saving about Ryan's fifteen thousand. Brian's had his hand up for about Sorry. sixty people, so. <laughs> um, no, I just have one little question. Did you add a trans <coughs> first station attendant because this was part time before? That's four people. That's just the four people. Right. We did two years ago, I think a year and a half, two years ago, at my initiative, we did take a permanent part-time person, a permanent, permanent, permanent person. I'm with you. That was working weekends to work during the week. Because it was the, 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 land, the transfer station coordinator was working Saturdays and Sundays, and he wasn't there during the week or, or three, two days during the week when I needed him to be running it during the week. So in an effort to, this was part of my, I think, phase one reorganization where we took him, put him to the weekend, rather than putting that in as overtime, that's where we put a part-time person in. Okay, good. Thank you. Are we comfortable with this story? Page 119, uh, these are all pretty basic accounts associated with the transfer station. Uh, nothing notable here. Nope. Um, Keith, I, I understand that, that you've been charged with building a bathroom over on Church Street. And <coughs> is it in here or where is it in the budget, the cost of that? You mean the new pump station? Not the pump station, the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom. Uh, oh, that's yeah. actually going to be paid for out of parking the parking lot accounts. Parking. Okay. Right. So it's going on yeah, the parking lot yes. accounts. So it's, but you're, you're doing the work, We're right? We're doing the work. But the materials and stuff will come out of the parking lot revenues. So I am standard. And the label will come out of yours? What label we do, yes. Yes. Is that going to take some period of time in terms of labor? I mean, is yeah, it it's not a something? big deal. It's probably going to be a couple of days. A couple of days of labor. Yeah. Mm. That's not you being used elsewhere. Well, I, don't know I have say. no. That would have to go back to the board for the board to decide. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just board trying. I'm just trying to give some visibility to it because we're spending some resources. <coughs> to build uh, a bathroom on a privately owned lot. Well, at the same time, others are complaining about build, picking up commercial trash. And it's just a matter of benefit of a public of an employee. Mm -hmm. Well, we could also build a bathroom on a on a town owned lot. We don't need to build it on a privately owned lot. That's well, the that's, that's the where issue. the parking is. You know what? I'm not. <laughs> no, there's also there. parking on the publicly yeah, owned I'm lot. I'm not going there because that's an issue that has already so been resolved by yep. the board yeah. and. I acknowledge that it's been resolved by the board. I know, it's a done deal. So, 121, last page. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <of> the figure. <laughs> uh, <coughs> no cheering in the aisles, okay? That is uh, pretty much well, sewer collection and disposal, sewer line maintenance, and sewer drains and supplies. Uh, that $130,000, we're reserving that. Uh, we're presently doing an infiltration and inflow study of the Hampton Beach area. Uh, we don't know what's going to come out of that, but between that and some work that we need to do up at the intersection of Winnicott and Lafayette Road, that's what would cover that cost of that work, if whatever work we decide to do. And then the um, sewer treatment, exit of sewer agreement, and then the wastewater treatment plant maintenance account. Okay. I'm going backwards from one minute. I think I missed it and all that. Sewer line maintenance. Do we have an actual project going on with that next year? No. Right now we're looking, we're doing this infiltration, I, I study, infiltration inflow study at the beach. Mm -hmm. If that identifies some major source of infiltration, we want to be able to jump right on it. If it doesn't, I mean it will, but if it doesn't, may not be cost effective to do a project down there because of the cost of doing that. I've got plenty of work that was identified when we were doing the Lafayette Winnicott Road intersection project that we could use that money to use to, to repair the sewer pipes out in, in this intersection. 
but I don't want to do the intersection until I get the results of the uh, eye study in case we need the money to correct some infiltration okay. problems down there. But I'm looking at an actual of 8200 in 2012, and then in 2013, 130 in the budget. That we've actually spent the end of uh, the end of September, September. 23,000. So. Selectman made a decision to do um, Auburn Street Extension. Auburn Street Extension, um, and again, another one of these projects that was conceived before my time that was underestimated. Mm -hmm. So we're doing Auburn Street and Perkins Ave, and there's a connecting road. We didn't have enough money to do that out of the money that's available that was budgeted for the project. Mm -hmm. Selectman asked me to find the money to do that project. So we took that out of the sewer line. And, and that's being worked on as we speak. They're okay. working down there today. So what I'm seeing is that we funded $130,000 last year in the budget, and we didn't touch the stuff basically for 23000 And now <coughs> we're looking for 130000 again. again. And I don't know what my guarantee is that it's not something that fades away into... When I look at something like that, that we have funded, mm -hmm. and we've endorsed, and it didn't go where it needed to go, I look at something like that and say it needs a warrant article so it ends up where it should go. So cut it out. Mm -hmm. So cut it out. Well, we're in the same situation that, similar to Fairfield, Ruth, and Belmont, is that there's a portion of that work that I have to do. For instance, when we pave, when we repave in the spring, because right now they're just putting down a base. Um, I've got a short section on Auburn Street Extension. I've got a short s section on Perkins. Part of that money to pay that to do the job right once and get done and off the street, that's where that would come from. There's a, we have a clay pipe cracked at the front of the galley hatch, 21-inch pipe that we know is missing a section of it. It's gone. That's where this money's coming Short of the I and I project, that's where this money has to go. Yeah, and that I and I project is important because we've got enough water infiltrating our lines to really wreak havoc. Wastewater treatment plant—that's right. one of those quiet things that drains you. Right. But I do have that. I'm going to express that. I know the time is late, and <coughs> it probably warrants some thought on that process. But on this particular item, I have a problem where we have funded it and it goes elsewhere. Well, it's all for sewer line maintenance. I don't understand what you're getting at. Because only 23, 321 <coughs> was actually spent. And if you go back to the budget, it was at 130. 23, 321 was spent, and now it's back up at 130. Right, and what Eileen is saying is you put the money in, and, and the all, work doesn't get and done. And all the bills are not in yet for Auburn Street. I realize that yeah. that's only through the end of September, but I don't think you're going to come up to. We just started the project. We just started the project? We just started it. It, didn't, it just started three weeks ago, a month ago. We, we've only paid 130000 was the first invoice of a $350,000 project. So we're expecting next week a fairly substantial bill from the contractor. Okay. So what you're saying of that line item, the 130,000, even though you only spent 23, you're projecting within that 130, you're going to pretty much a large sum of it's going to be spent. Yeah. Yeah. Not all of it. So the 130 for 2014 is for something different. Correct. It's other other planned work, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. The reason why we didn't start the project earlier <coughs> is we didn't <coughs> want to disrupt <coughs> the beach goers on Auburn Perkins and Auburn Avenue Extension. But that's the point. I mean, right. what I'm saying is that of that 130 that was in the budget for 2013, there is still, still enough work. money left. Yes. Even though you've only spent 2023, uh, right. there's still enough left in that portion of the, the 2013 budget right. to take care of that project that you mentioned on yep. Auburn and Perkins. And, so and we may be encumbering some of that 130 to oh. carry it over, okay. but that, it depends on how the bottom line comes up. Carry up. So <coughs> we can't, I think that's an open item that mm. we'll take to the end of 
our deliberations. Yep. Not affected okay. tonight. Thanks, okay? Mm -hmm. Not affected tonight because all your numbers aren't in. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're a hundred thousand more than a hundred thousand dollars away from what that item was funded at last year. So to make a decision here right now, mm -hmm. if I made it on this, even knowing you have a couple of more months to put in here, I wouldn't mm -hmm. be I'll get a decision perhaps I'll wait till we have some more in to digest. But to let <coughs> you know. So if you have mm -hmm. anything you want to send our way mm -hmm. um, regarding information, we will go back over that again in review. Okay. Good point noted. Okay. All right. So I guess we're down to the bottom line. We are down the to the bottom line. We move things around. We change some subtotals, which again.